Hi right, folks, Robert here with more Revit MEP training. Today I had a question about more doing more electrical stuff. So I'm going to go in and do this uh, video and we're going to look at focus on cable tray and uh, conduit. Got some in here already. I just want to show you how you would connect your equipment to a cable tray. So uh, I got these two motor control centers in this uh, model. Uh, but what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to take, uh, actually I'm going to move these here because I already got a section box. Now this wouldn't, uh -oh, wouldn't normally be where your MCC would be. I'm sorry. But uh, I'm just keeping that. Actually, I'll just do this. I'll move it over here. <laughs> Where and leave these motor control centers just where they are because they could end up here or they might be in a room somewhere. So I'm going to just take this scope box and put it here. And so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this and I got a partial plan of that room and I got the light fixtures showing and everything. And I'm going to make this uh, okay, this is a view template going on here. So it's not going to be that much. Let me see if I can make this. Oh, it's a view template. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to back out of this. Go back to my power plant and just show you how this works. So all you have to do basically is uh, go into your systems in GYMM and then you go conduit. And I kind of like to do this in a section view. So let's just go drop a section in here. See, with electrical and MEP, you got to do a lot of section views because you kind of need to see what's going on, man. So I'm going to double click this. So there's my motor control centers here. And then if I want, and what's this here? That's a light fixture. Uh, there's my conduits. Let's see, I'm going to make this fine. So we got some control. I don't see any cable tray here. Okay, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to go back into my power plant here. Of course, there's the cable tray right there. Fine. So let me have another look over here quickly. Oops, sorry. Okay, there you go. It's a better view. So I got motor control center. So all you have to do basically to uh, do a place a conduit here, you go into systems uh, uh, to a, a uh, cable tray, you go uh, conduit, and you can select here. Uh, what's that? Not grabbing that. Okay, select here, and you can right click and you can draw conduit. And again, we've done this before. You can place this in any direction and you can add multiples. I'm going to finish this and say, okay, I'm happy with that. And then I can stretch my conduit. So then next, I'll just go to my uh, top view. Uh-oh, sorry. Did I lose it? Yeah, I did. My bad. I think I've been using MicroStation. I've used MicroStation at work, and man, it's really different. That's why I've been kind of dragging it, guys. Sorry. I'm going to go draw, draw uh, condo from face. And I want to just come up to this, this cable tray. Uh -oh. Finish that. And there's my tray right there. So it automatically placed the connection there. So now we can go and have a look at this in our 3D view. Kind of see what's going on here. So there. So it's pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, you can do multiple cable, multiple conduits here. So you can go uh, like here. And um, I think I know how to do this. Go like tab these guys. And then you might want to go and do multiples or whatever, uh, 
but anyway, that was a quick question. You wanted to see how you would make uh, a connection between cable tray and kind. It's pretty straightforward and pretty neat, actually. Um, let me rotate around here. You can see. Up, oh, sorry, guys. So that's what happens. You can just it just snaps right into the uh, cable tray from the motor control center. So just to show you that again, I'm gonna see if we can do this in 3D view. Um, and I'm going to change this to, uh, but that's fine. Let's go and, I'm going to think I'm going to get a blue screen today. <laughs> so I'm going to okay, conduit. Again, I'll snap on this. Uh-oh. Oh, no, wrong face. Cancel that. So you have to hit this face here. Yep. And then you want to finish it. You're good with that. And then you just, uh-oh. Sorry. See if I can go here. Finish. I guess this doesn't work too well in 3D. Yeah, because that's what I'm trying to do. But anyway, guys, uh, I just wanted to answer this question about how you connect uh, cable tray to conduit. And here's another one. Sometimes you might, they might connect it on the bottom. You know what happens is they just bring the wire, and they come through from the tray. So. Um, Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hope this helps your answer your question. Um, but yeah, that's that's how that works. You just you know, it works pretty well. It just snaps right to the track. But hey guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye, everybody. Please be safe.